Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear yogis. This is Echo at Our Echo. Thank you for being here and practicing with me on this cool London, London morning. So it's a bit rainy outside. We've had the heat wave come through. It's been a bit maddening for my nervous system to land in London, expecting to have coolness, to just kind of ground and drink tea. And, um, to experience the heat wave. <laughs> so I'm happy to embrace the cold. And this brings me into today's topic. Who knows what it is that's gonna unfold today, but um, being a human is weird. It's an odd experience. I imagine that many of you will agree with me. There has been, my whole life, there's been a deep questioning and a curiosity in me about you know, what am I doing here? Like, what are we all doing here? Those existential questions of what does it mean to wake up and to go to sleep and to reset and to do the same thing over and over again, like this Groundhog Day experience of, of uh, slowly, slowly aging and moving through the cycles. And the heat wave and, and the coolness, you know, it brought up this um, parallel with me of, of seeing the cyclic experience of the human experience and and thinking about how odd it is and what we're doing here and thinking about you know something that we get so used to is consistency we in a way we like change and we have curiosity and we're adventurous but we like consistency in the sense of like we know that when summer comes, that after is the fall and then is the winter. And we know that during the day, as the afternoon comes in and the sun goes down, that we will sleep and we will rest. And if that shifted one day, it would be very jolting to the nervous system, just like we're experiencing with climate. You know, things are shifting in spaces where we're like, it doesn't get this hot in London, but now it does. Things are shifting. And so, it's bringing up this existential question of, you know, what really is um, normal and, and, and can everything be allowed? Can whatever is there, whatever is to be, be allowed? And so as I've babbled in my existential questions, today's practice, we're going to allow ourselves to arrive as we are and to know that it is an odd experience to be here as a human being and you might have lots of questions and it could be very confusing for the nervous system in whatever existential questions you're in and to remind yourself when we're getting too heady and when we're in the mind we abandon the body you know in a lot of senses we abandon the body when we're in worry when we're in doubt when we're in excitement and we're moving towards something or we're just in our thoughts and so we come back to the body. So that being said, let's start in child's pose, humbling ourselves nicely, knees wide, stretching the arms forward, forehead to the earth, and allowing ourselves to ground. So if you get into the existential angst or the questioning of your own life, why, 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 what is, what is, Come out of the mind a bit and step into the body. So let's begin to breathe deeply through the nostrils. And this isn't about distracting ourselves from difficult questions or running away from them. It's about resourcing our nervous systems to be with them even more deeply. So really choose to be here right now in your body Inhale and exhale through the nostrils, slowing everything down. And coming forward to tabletop position. Let's take an inhale, drop the belly down, look forward. And exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale, belly drops. And exhale, spine rounds. Inhale. And exhale. 
Inhale. And exhale. Two more. And let's come back to center. Stretch the hands forward, palms to the earth, and let the chest slowly come down, forehead to the ground, hips directly over the knees, and keep the arms activated, so palms press in. Getting nice and long across the arms into the pericardium meridian. And so much what we have learned in our lives, what we've learned about the human body, about our physiology, what is happening inside the body, it's given us access to really enjoy as much as we can these vehicles that we experience life through so the body when we do our yoga practice the breath mind the hearts we have more intelligence and understanding through those many cycles through 24 hour days and weeks and months and years of how we can best take care of what we have in this great mystery even though still so much is mysterious to us. Slide forward onto the belly and the forearms. Bring the elbow slightly forward. Open the heart space, pull it forward. Lengthen the side so you can create some spaciousness in the lower back. Keep the chest lifted, you can close the eyes. And there are many things that we could do in life, like overworking or drinking or smoking or over-exercising or over yoga -ing. Depends on what we're using these things for. But yoga, yoga has the opportunity to allow us more spaciousness to deal with the difficult questions, the existential questions. Let's bring the chest down. Stretch the right arm out to the right side. I'm gonna move my water a little bit here. Come on to the right side. Bend the left knee and place the left foot down behind the right thigh. And so open wing, lengthening into the right deltoid, into the chest. Come forward onto the chest. Lengthen the left arm out to the left side. Roll into the left side body. Bend the right knee. Place the right foot down behind the left thigh. And also our yoga practice gives us the opportunity for spaciousness in silent witness. So notice in these spaces when I am not guiding where the mind goes. And do your best to not leave or abandon the body for the mind. If you think of your body and your mind, everything is a system. We give so much attention to the mind. So think of the mind as the big brother, the quarterback of the football team, and the body. The body is like the sensitive little sister that kind of gets left behind sometimes. And it's important that we make sure that we're spending enough time with our mind as well as our heart, our feelings our body, our sensations, and whatever higher aspect of self you believe there to be, to your purpose, what drives you. Let's come back onto the belly, hands by the chest, sit back onto the heels, and we're going to sit back onto the heels but with the toes tucked. So toes tucked under the very very famous and well-known toe tuck. Favorite of all yoga postures, sit up nice and tall through the spine. And you know, I see the toe squat, if I'm gonna focus on existentialism today, I see the toe squat as the ruptures in life. You know, the challenges, the breakups, the heartbreaks, the 
difficulties, um, a lot of sensation can be felt in the body when we do the toe squat. But notice if your mind essentially says pain, if it immediately goes pain, I want to go out. And if it's just uncomfortable, can you sit in it? Can you breathe with it? Can you be present with the rupture, the challenging aspect of the human experience? The more that we practice to sit in stillness and silent witness with difficulties, the more we can respond instead of reacting to life's challenges. So let's give a few more breaths here to this thing, this rupture that brings up this fire in the body, but that actually brings so much new life energy into the body, moving stagnation from the fascia and stuck energy in the meridians of myofascial lines that end and begin in the feet and creates new life force through the front and back line of the body. Coming forward onto the hands, Untuck the toes and pat them out. Nice. Sit back onto the heels, lift the knees. Get a little bit more spaciousness for the fascia. Let's come forward onto the hands, tuck the toes, press back, downward facing dog. So we lengthen through the back line. Press the heels down, palms in. Let the head relax, the shoulders to relax. And slowly, let's walk the feet forward. So take your time. As you come forward, you might need to bend the knees a bit if the back line is nice and tight today. Let's fold in. You can keep the hands on the earth or on a bolster, a block, or if you're folded all the way in, you could take the opposite elbows. For me, I'm a little sensitive today in the back line, so I'm going to come on my fingertips, keep the chest a little bit lifted, and then I can straighten my legs a little bit more and dive deep with each exhale. So it's important each day, it's kind of like you're doing an oil change when you do yoga. So your car is your or your body is your vehicle and your yoga practice is doing that oil change and knowing like what grooves, what part of the body needs a little bit of lubrication, some moisture. And we just take time and presence to be with the body, to be with that little sister of the system, the tender one that feels all the things, to see what she needs. Hands to the earth, let's take an inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise to standing, reach up, take your time. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart. Again, inhale, reach up. Clasp the fingers this time and let your body lean to the right, hips to the left. Nice and long through the left side body. Inhale back through center and fold over to the left. Inhale up and exhale fold. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, plant the hand, step back to a plank position. Lower halfway, elbows in by the ribs. Inhale, forward to the tops of the feet. Open the heart space, look up. Exhale, tuck the toes under, lift the hips back and up. Downward facing dog. Inhale, 
Inhale, lift the right leg up behind you. Bend the right knee, stack the right hip open over the left. Pause here. So we're opening into the right hip. Really press that left heel down, let the head hang, press the palms in. You can stay here or you can begin to bend the left knee and then step the right foot behind you next to the left foot, right arm reaching forward, flipping the dog, so flipping our perspective and getting a bit curious about what the physical form can do. Again, we're challenging ourselves, we're working with balance and slowly come back forward. Bring the right foot forward this time. And inhale, reach up high, lunge. Very good. So it's a bit of a challenging one, but we can do it. Sink deep into the right knee, reach the arms up. Take an inhale. And exhale, open warrior two. So sink into the right knee. Strengthen the arms. Nice and open across the chest. Relax the muscles in the face and arrive in the challenge. Take an inhale, lengthen the right leg. Bring the left foot forward just a bit. Reach the right arm forward and down to the right shin, left arm up. Take an inhale up and back, left arm down the back leg, right arm stretching up and over. And exhale, hands to the earth around the right foot, step back to plank, lower halfway elbows in by the ribs. Inhale forward, open the heart space. And exhale, back and up, downward facing dog. I'm having some uh, <laughs> technical difficulties with my mat in this rug. All right, let's take an inhale, lift the left leg up. Bend the left knee, stack the left hip open over the right. And we're just taking pauses, we're nice and slow today. So again, witness the mind. If we wander off, stay in the body. Deep breaths in and out of the nostrils. Set the left foot down behind you. Left arm reaching forward. Keep the hips lifted. And slowly inhale back over. Step the left foot forward. Reach the arms up, high lunge. Sink into the left knee, relax the shoulders. Inhale, open up, warrior two. Nice and wide, strong in the arms, soft in the face. So when we learn to move with grace and ease through our physical yoga practice, it can become very much a living metaphor of how we can move through life when all of those odd reflections and questions and maybe even existential fears come up. Because even though we have created such consistency in the world, We've defined things, we have science, we have research, we have so many words to describe. Truly, we can't know some things. There is the great mystery for ourselves, for the continuation of our lives, for our deaths, all the things. So our practice gives us the opportunity to really find peace in that. Let's take an inhale, lengthen the left leg, bring the right foot in a bit. Reach forward with the left arm, left hand down, right arm up. So staying present when those reflections coming up, breathing through the nostrils, when we need to closing the eyes and finding ways to find more and more peace with what we cannot control. 
and also giving more grace and compassion for what we fear or what brings up sadness or grief and celebrating joy and ecstasy. Let's take an inhale up, right arm down the back leg, left arm up and over. So our yoga practice in a way it can become the subtle art of slowing everything down, of stopping time. Do so you ever notice when you're fully present with your practice, the lucid state that you come out in, the hypnagogic state of, oh, where did I just go? Let's take an inhale to the earth, step back to plank, lower halfway, inhale forward, upward facing dog, and exhale downward facing dog. Press down through the hands, back through the heels. Belly in, let the head relax. We each will have our own questions, our own challenges, our own fears and desires. And yet we are not so unique in some of the great questions that we all ask. So finding the tools, finding the practices that help you not just cope and be with the unknown, but to truly enjoy the journey. Let's come down to the knees, let them go wide, sit back onto the heels, forehead to the earth, and this time elbows into the earth, press the palms together over the head, opening into the shoulders, you can stretch the forearms, and the elbows a little bit more forward. And so practices like this, then with these reflections, give you an opportunity to see what you're resisting, maybe what you're running from, what you distract yourself with, and always asking yourself, which question am I living my life by? Which philosophy? And the question is, how do I just get through it? How do I not feel the pain? How do I distract myself? You know that there is a avoidance to the unknown, to what we can't control. But can we change the question to curiosity? Like, can I be with what is? Can I be curious? Can I slow my breath, slow myself down to witness, to be with all parts of me, the heart, the mind, the body? So very slowly coming back up. Let's find a comfortable seat to sit up nice and tall. Lengthen through the spine, hands resting on the knees and just landing. We don't need to be perfect in our seat, but sitting up nice and tall, softening the face. Hands together at heart center, bowing head to heart. May we each find more grace and the tools to neither abandon the intelligence and the curiosity of the mind or the intelligence and curiosity of the body or the intelligence and curiosity of the breath and the heart, the soul's purpose. May we in this very unique experience the cyclic experience spinning around the sun, spinning around the clock spinning around the days, the months, the years, may we ask our questions with a deeper sense of trust in life and less fear and avoidance of what we cannot control. Namaste. Hmm. Thank you dear human beings spinning around this wild rock of earth with me take care of yourselves and you can get in touch with me in all the places down below for upcoming retreats trainings i have some beautiful offerings coming up so if you just want to come sit with me and other like-minded individuals in contemplation and conversation and practice then meet me online in the containers I have coming up or in person in the retreats that I have coming up or in one-on-one -on -one sessions. But um, take care of yourselves and stay in the question of your life 
and um, stay curious. Thank you.